what you guys have to do to be better in game two? Um, I mean, I think it's always good to start off a series getting the first win. Um, but I think we, we have a lot of stuff that we feel like we need to clean up. Um, it's just little stuff, though, little stuff defensively with the game plan um, and some stuff offensively. Did that include, like, yesterday when you guys kind of let your foot off the gas in the second half? Um, yeah, I would, I would say so. I mean, yeah. I'll think of an emphasis. I mean, obviously, rebounding is important, but as a team like this, which you guys do seem to have a bit of size advantage, um, what would you guys How big is that rebound? I think you had nine yesterday. Yeah, uh, that, that was just an emphasis going into the game, just uh, rebound on both ends of the floor uh, as best we can. What would you make of the zoo? Obviously, at 2015 yesterday, kind of featured in your offense. I guess when you go, when you move forward, obviously they will probably um, send more at him and try to take that away. How do you kind of navigate through that? Um, I mean, we're used to teams post doubling, so we 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 work on that uh, every week. So sure. that's what they do. We right. but you guys are trying to defend Luca and Kyrie. Are you certain you're trying to take it away, or they just play? Hard side defense the entire time you're defending them. Um, it's, uh, I mean, it's tough to say you try and take something away from them. You know, they're gonna do whatever they feel like doing. Uh, they both play at their own speed, at their own pace. So, just like you said, just play tough, um, be aggressive, and try to keep them in front as best you can. Tim, um, third series for you defending Luca. Is there like a certain comfort level for you now? Defensively against him, like kind of knowing what to expect as far as like his counters and stuff. Um, no. no. <laughs> so, so it's still difficult as it was in the beginning. Yeah. Right. What do you feel like changed the most for you offensively uh, from the first half to the second half? For me specifically. Yeah, for Eastman. Um, I made shots. Uh, I think the first half I made, missed a lot of layups and opportunities that I normally make. So. Um, just made more shots and took more threes in the second half. How have you adjusted over the course of the season? So, man, you know, we talked about all year, you having the guard head of snakes while also being a contributor on the other end of the floor consistently, whether you get in touch with or not. Like, how have you developed and, and balanced that um, and, and been better at that as the year has gone along? Uh, I think just I figured it out. I think just my role, um, you know, it's one of the first seasons where I had that consistent role for months so I think I figured it out and I think I feel like I know what I need to bring to this team in order to be successful. Is that something that you and Amir uh, with, with him starting right now is how's the conversation with him been because he's going to have to do some of the same thing as long as he's in that first year. Yeah um, like I said we know what we need to do and it's just a matter if we're doing it or not so you know we both know what we need to do. How is the team and I asked that based off of the last few years with the play in you guys get basically a week in between games. I know you guys go live some. Is Does it take a minute to get your breath? Do you feel differently with that start of the game again with that week off? Um, not really. I think Ty did a good job this week of you know keeping us well conditioned uh, through practice. So not really, I wouldn't say. Intense. Uh, coming into the game, or coming to the series, Coach Ty, we talked about Luca being obviously the leading scorer, and he's going to get his points. But what he doesn't want to see is him having 40, but also having 14, 15 dimes getting everybody else involved. You guys were able to sustain that, and you guys have allowed him to get everybody else involved. But a lot of people might look at the box score and say, Luca did his thing. But you guys maintain that part to where you got to let him get everybody else involved to get those other guys there. Yeah, it's one or the other. Um, you know, it's, you can't give them both. When, when he has both, then they win games by a lot. So. You know, we try to take one or the other way. As I said after uh, the last game that obviously it was a great win for you guys, but there were still a lot of things that he felt you guys could clean up going into game two. Are there a few things that stand out to you that you guys feel like need to be better going forward? Uh, I think our focus. I think our focus for the whole game needs to be better. Uh, and I think that was the main thing. I think we played a great game um, in, in terms of the game plan and everything, but I think our focus needs to be better for the whole game. Kyrie said after the game I said that uh, you noticed Ty was giving you, you guys cues about what him and somebody likes to do. Oh, I guess that smile confirms that. Um, I mean, it's Kyrie Irving. You gonna you gonna get a cue and then he's gonna do something else. So uh, he's a smart player and very good player. So I'm sure he picked on, up on that and started doing the counter. So th does the cue help at all in that case? Or are you just like could you expect one thing 
I don't know. I really don't know. I just try to guard him to the best of my abilities. Thanks, James. Yeah, thanks, James. Let's get ready for Hoop Jab.